In this video we're going to go over processing scan surfaces in Mesh Mixer. The steps are mainly four. The first step is trimming extra geometry from scans. Second step is combining scans into a single model. Third step is bridging the two loose parts in multiple regions. And the last step is gap filling and smoothing the merged region. So after you export the scan files from the desktop scanner software, we're going to have two files. The first file is going to be the Intaglio surface scan. And the second file is going to be the Cameo surface scan. The next step will be post-processing these scans in Mesh Mixer. Uh, Mesh Mixer is, a, is an open source uh, software. Uh, you can download it for free uh, from the website. If you go to Google and you Google Mesh Mixer, click on the first website, then download. You can find the download links for either Windows or Mac, depending on the system you're using. So I'm going to launch Mesh Mixer. Here, uh, you're going to import the files here, or you can select the files and drag drop them into Mesh Mixer. Here you can see that we have both scans and we have the object browser here. If you don't have the object browser visible, go to view, show object browser, and uh, it will be displayed to your right side of the screen. Uh, we see that if you look here, you will see that the scans are facing to the top. The anterior teeth are facing to the top. So it would be easier if your scans are uh, facing to the front it would be easier for you uh, to manipulate the, the scans so in order to do that you're gonna select both scans using the shift and uh, left mouse click and then you're gonna click the transform or the T button and you're gonna roughly align the scans so that the anterior teeth are facing to the front so you're gonna use these controls and now you can see that it's roughly uh, facing to the front surface. After you have your uh, scans aligned to, this, to the front, you're going to select the intaglio surface and you're going to hide the cameo surface. We're going to trim the extra geometry following a line that goes into this region because this is the least critical line for our scans. To do that, we're going to use the select tool or click S and we're going to select the borders that we're going to start trimming. The size of your brush is seen uh, when you hover over the scan. You can modify the size using this control here or you can use the brackets on your keyboard to control it. So you're going to select, you're going to start selecting by using the left mouse button and selecting the areas that you want to remove from your scan so we're going to leave about three millim two to three millimeters from the uh, from the flanges here we're going to go all the way here So once you uh, have your selection, you're going to go to edit and you're going to click the discard or the X button. That will delete the extra geometry. For the posterior part, uh, the selection tool is going to be a little bit difficult to use. So we're going to use something called the lasso tool. Basically, you just click outside the model and you then you go click inside and you mark the middle of the posterior border that you want to be trimming away. And then to close my selection or finalize my selection, I'm going to click close to where I started and that will select the vertices that I wanted. Now, I'm going to click X. As you see here, it inadvertently I accidentally deleted uh, important information from the scan, so I'm going to click Undo. And to deselect those regions, you're going to click Shift 
and left click to to deselect those regions. I'm gonna click X again. And now we have the uh, scan surface. We have loose geometry here, so we're gonna uh, eliminate it basically by selecting the region that we want to keep, expand the selection, or go to modify, expand to connected. That will expand the selection to the connected regions in your scan. And then you're gonna invert the selection or click I and that will select the disconnected regions and then you click X to discard it. The next step will be showing the cameo surface. Now once we show the cameo surface we're gonna have a blue border here that will denote the end of the intaglio surface. You want to select the areas that are a little bit below this border in the cameo surface. So I'm gonna select the cameo surface and I'm gonna use the lasso tool, click outside the model click again to start marking the borders where I want to be trimming the extra geometry from the cameo surface. Here I also inadvertently deleted some parts of my cameo surface so I'm gonna click undo and I'm gonna deselect the areas that we will be keeping. Okay, we're gonna trim the anterior region here. I'm gonna use the lasso tool again. And uh, as long as I'm a little bit far from the blue border, we're going to be okay. Okay, so um, I have a little bit of loose geometry here. We're going to use the same method, select the part that we're going to be keeping expand to connected and then invert click X and that will eliminate all the disconnected parts from the scan and now as you see here we have two separate objects the intaglio surface and the cameo surface we're gonna combine them into a single model so we're gonna select both of them and we're gonna combine that way we'll have a single model and then you can also rename this model I'll rename it into the denture uh, duplicate denture model and as you see here uh, we have a continuous gap between both uh, compartments of the model now there is a built-in tool in mesh mixer called the analyze inspector uh, auto repair all if you try it you're gonna end up with something similar to this because the algorithm of gap filling in mesh mixer will not identify that it's gonna have to bridge those two surfaces here so I'm gonna undo it and there's also another tool if you wanna bridge both of the regions manually you can select the borders and you can try bridging them using the uh, the bridge tool but usually that's also uh, encountered by an error so in order to fix it we're gonna have to to close the uh, the the model in several regions in the maxillary we'll close it in six regions the uh, the labial frenum the mid buccal vestibules, the hamular notches, 
and the uh, mid posterior palatal region. So I'm going to use my select tool, make it a little bit smaller, and then bridge those regions. Now, uh, sometimes you would, if, if you uh, select the uh, vertices in, uh, abruptly or if you miss select some uh, vertices here, it will give an error. So make sure the selections are uh, appropriate. Now we'll see that the model is bridged in several regions and now the gaps are a little bit smaller. Now you can try the, ins the Analyze Inspector tool and we'll try auto repairing all and now we will have the model closed all around. Now there are some areas that need to be refined. Uh, you, can, you can refine them here in the software or you can manually refine them using a bear after you print your model. We're going to do it here and we're going to use the Sculpt tool and modify the strength and the size of the, of the brush here and we're going to manually smoothen those borders in the software. Okay, now the model is ready to be exported. We are going to export our model here to our desktop and we're going to export it into a binary STL file and save it. Then you'll be able to see that uh, the file here is ready. You can store the file in the patient's chart or you can use it um, in whatever method you need, you need to use it. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, my e email address is below. And thank you very much for watching.